that's a point six on the come out roll using that all seven set. Got a seven. <clears throat> we come out roll. Got a seven. Again, we're on the come out roll. So that's going to be really nice right there gives me a chance to adjust my uh, hand because it's not uh, it's not breaking away like I want to when it you know, crashes down there at the end with the all seven set because there's a there's definitely a way you need to throw it you have to be able to control it we're going to come out okay we've got a point of eight <clears throat> Hard. Yeah, we got a we have a couple obstacles in the way today. Um, this is the way we normally uh, practice with the chips in the way, simulating uh, sim true simulation of the casino. Because you're going to have obstacles. You can't just think nothing's going to be. Uh, you know, you're not going to have any chips in the way unless you go like the times I like to go early in the morning. I don't like the big crowds. I want the dice back immediately. Okay, we got an eight back, and that's what we call Cadillac point, right there. We brought the point right back. <clears throat> Come out roll. And as I answered uh, in a um, question from uh, one of the viewers from one of the other videos I had, uh, they asked, how far am I throwing from? And it's anywhere from eight and a half to nine, nine feet out. You know, eight, eight and a half, <clears throat> where I'm actually positioned at. Um, stick left one, stick left two, you know, in that range. That's what I like at the casino. Okay, we're still on the come out roll. That's a seven. On the come out, we're using that all seven. <clears throat> you can see where it really can come in handy on that all seven. All seven set right there. Let's come out. Uh, we had a couple warm up throws. Uh, let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, then uh, that point as I turned it on, so that was our ninth throw. The point is six when you came in, so that's where we're at right now. So we're really not warmed up right now. We're just throwing. We're going to be answering a question in this video. That's, that's really the purpose of this video, is to answer one of the viewers' questions. <coughs> it's another seven. Same way, 6-1. Dice are uh, staying, staying tight right now. Tighter than I like, they're not crashing right. That's okay. That's okay. Still on the come out. But, uh, yeah, this video, uh, we're going to be answering what's the purpose, uh, why, I w what's the theory behind using the all seven set? What is the theory? behind using the all seven set after the uh, come out roll. That's what the uh, viewer asked and we're going to be going into that. I'm just going to throw a couple more here and let you see how it lands and how uh, this all seven set should go, how you want it to go.
and be successful in the casino with it. Okay, we got a seven again. So we're just you know, and that's not a bad thing either. Three sevens in a row on this one without the point. So we're not upset about that. So this just let me know I need to make some minor adjustments. It's not crashing off the uh, off the back right. I need to land it a little bit different. Come out roll. That was too strong. That was off the surface there. <clears throat> Okay, we came off the 7 finally. We got a 10, point a 10. <clears throat> See, we got a good crash. There we go. That's a good crash. That's a 4. I think my average with this uh, with this all sevens is anywhere from uh, thirteen to twenty, fifteen to twenty range. We got a point of ten. We're just gonna throw we're gonna throw a couple more here to finish out. Get to answering the question why why we'd want to do that. Use that all seven <clears throat> to make money in the casino. After the point. Okay, we got an eight. Five, three. Alright, we're just gonna throw one more and complete that. We don't want this to drag on this uh, video. Uh, the purpose of this video is actually to answer the question, but I wanted to show a couple uh, nice throws, a couple tosses, get a chance to see that. How the seven. <clears throat> All seven set needs to land and hit to the wall. That's a good one. Eight, six, two. All right. So we're going to be finished there. Uh, I've only got four more dice in my chute, uh, and I've said it in previous videos that uh, I use twenty-four, like twenty-four. Uh, in my deck, we'll call that uh, call it a deck. I call it the shoe, uh, you know, that way I don't have to keep running over and you know gra grabbing the dice, things like that. So I'm going to push these over with my hands. You can see what I'm talking about. These are my throws so far. That was at eight right there. And this is how I do them right here. These are all the throws you had a chance to see. And this last one, I might get that in there. Yeah, that last one right there. That's where you came in at the uh, point of six. So, I don't know how many that is. Should be 20. And we uh, we use chips out there as well, so you can have a chance to see. You know, uh, I haven't drawn in my lines. This is a uh, just kind of uh, put this surface on here. Um, I'm going to be making a video about that. You know, you want to use different surfaces. This surface right here is a little more slick, and it ba it bounces more. Just uh, this type of material that I put on there uh, here recently over the past week or two, uh, and it really gives me the simulation like the uh, local casinos we have here where I'm where I'm located. <clears throat> but we have 20 here. That's with the all seven set. So you can use the all seven set 
in my opinion, but uh, you certainly want to uh, want to pull these back. You certainly want to practice, practice, practice. And um, I'm not going to go into all the little details right now, but I'll be doing a bunch of other videos talking about practice, uh, grip going into the grip uh, more, things like that. But um, what is the what is the theory behind using the all seven set <clears throat> to our viewer uh, after the come out roll? Well, we just showed you a couple throws there, and we like it. We like it. Um, this is just how we feel. My personal feeling. Um, thanks for the question. Uh, the theory behind the all seven set. My personal theory is that dice controller influencer can use this die set after the come out roll with a consistent throw with the dice so you need a consistent throw the throw needs to be very consistent very consistent your hands need to be gripping the dice the same way every time you can't throw a perfect throw every time and we're never going to have you know the perfect throw I mean you have some really nice throws but you're not going to have the perfect throw uh, so don't even worry about that but you want to keep the dice tight anyhow uh, but yeah dice controller uh, slash influencer can use the dice set after the come out roll with a consistent throw of the dice with the dice for me personally throwing the dice it's all about keeping the dice flying tight you know, so you want them to fly tight in the air and that's okay too. I mean, that's that's still flying tight in the air, you know. Fly tight in the air. Land tight. You want it to land tight. You want it to land tight. About two to four inches out from the wall. That's what I like. I like anywhere from two to four inches out from the wall. And I mark. Uh, I have mine marked here at uh, two. Four, six, eight, ten, and uh, a foot. So this is the range where I like to land them at. This is four inches right here. If you can see those dice right there, we got four inches. That's going to be four inches right there. That's where I like to land them anywhere from there to right here with that all seven set. That's two inches. You know, and what you want to do is land them tight. Land them tight. You know, they might not be this close, and that's understandable. But, you know, you want to land them tight. They should still be around in the all, the all seven set. Normally they are for me. Crash against the wall. They'll crash against the wall, come back. You know, and my theory is, is <clears throat> they will break away or roll away from the seven. So the dice need to be flying tight in the air, two to four inches out from the wall. And they'll stay glued to the seven set. They should be in the seven set with the correct throw, consistent. Remember, we talked about consistent throw each time. A lot of pra a lot, a lot of practice. I throw for like, <clears throat> I roll up to five hours a day consistently. You know, uh, minimum three. Uh, hit the wall and break away from the seven, or roll away from the seven. So the theory for me would be the dice roller or person with the dice influencing with the dice with a solid grip <clears throat> and throw should be able to use this set in my opinion again when I use it the all seven set and dice are tight flying through the air they land tight and roll right into the wall breaking away or rolling away from the seven so um, I just couldn't write all this down uh, you know, in the uh, the comment section, but I did try, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> Whatever, but um, so that's my theory. That's my theory is you know, uh, and that's dice control. That's why this this channel's up, you know, because we're going to debunk what people say that you know there's not possible. It's very possible. I'm not saying it's easy. It takes a lot of practice, and we'll go into that other on other videos. This this is getting to be a little bit long. 
uh, 15 minutes. We're going to be out in about another 30 seconds. But um, this is dice control, and the reason for the all seven set would be only, and we don't advise anyone to use this set unless you definitely are well practiced, know what you're doing. You need at least 5,000 rolls personal rolls with the dice, a consistent throw, using the same heads, hand set, you know, dice set, the whole ball of wax, so you'll have an established SRR, and we're not going into that now, but that's your seven to rolls ratio. Um, when you roll the dice, the casino, you know, bases their odds on that, that, you know, you will roll uh, a seven every six rolls, and so... That's, I don't want to go into any other thing else, but I do want to mention this since I mentioned that because I haven't said this so far. But I pull my bets down after three to five. Depends on how, you know, strong the roll, the roll is. Uh, but anywhere from three to five, and I press them. I press it all the way. You know, I press it, you know, for three to five, then I pull it down. And that's, that's how I do it consistently over, over, and over. And that's how we make money. But uh, we'll go into that more and more. Um, so when it talks about that, it does similar. It's really nice. Uh, his name's Mark. Uh, Full Press. Check him out. Full Press. Can't say enough about it. He does some good... Uh, he's got some really good things going on there. You want to check him out. He breaks it down. His uh, 66 uh, inside betting. It's awesome. I do the same thing. It's great. But uh, So that's the theory behind the, uh, the All 7 set. Practice it first. Again, you know, I mean, you know, do what you want, but, you know, we don't suggest just go out and use it, you know, so we're not here on these videos saying, hey, go out and use all seven. We just had, you know, videos where we're showing that, you know, it can be done because this is a dice control uh, channel, you know, uh, dice influencing in, and that kind of goes to show you, you know, that's not a joke when you see the dice, you know, bouncing around. I don't use, you know, an all seven, uh, an all, uh, uh, what's that dice set they I don't use that hard way. I, I don't use that the hard way set. I quit using that because uh, it double pitches. So I, I started using uh, <clears throat> personal dice sets, and I found some that really work well. Uh, but we'll go into all that later on. Uh, but for now, the all seven set. Don't use it unless you're well. I mean, you can do what you want, but uh, we don't advise it. That's not what we're here doing: advising people to go out and use an all seven set because that's silly. That's just silly, you know, especially for a novice. So you want to be well practiced. Um, beginners start with the hard way. Start with the hard way. But this video is about the theory behind the all seven set. That's why we use it. That's why we use it. We like it, and it brings up a lot of sixes and eights, you know, inside bets for us, you know. Um, so this is CK. Hope I answered that question for you. Keep them coming. We appreciate it. If you like these, give it a thumb up. Check out the other ones. We're going to have some more coming in. Subscribe to us. Tell anyone you know that likes craps or wants to learn how to beat the casinos. Learn how to beat and beat them. Learn how to beat the casinos and beat them. Tune in. Thanks for viewing. This is CK.